Hello guys and welcome back to my channel with another repair this time. We are trying to repair a beta FPV all-in-one board for um, whoops. This one has a fly controller, ESC, OSD, almost everything you can imagine it's on this little board. Pretty complicated and pretty fragile to different uh, abuses, crashes and bad soldering and stuff like that i've seen a lot of people burning them and the reasons could be a lot a little bit of uh, solder in the wrong place could kill uh, one of these boards and the mcu is the culprit the mcu gets uh, pretty hot when you plug a lipo in the switching regulator which is this one here emits a buzzing sound and usually that means that uh, the voltage regulator has a very high load first i'm going to take um, this mcu out of here first i'm gonna take out the bad mcu place some flux there just a tiny bit heating up the board when you attempt to desolder something on a board this small try to avoid knocking off parts that are close to the MCU especially here when uh, we have a lot of tiny footprints all around the MCU like this cap here so yep when I will see the Holder melting, I will try and uh, pick it up. And now it's getting there. And this MCU was particularly hard to take out because uh, of all these ground pads underneath it next you guessed it we have to place place some fresh solder there take the solder wick and suck that out cut the solder wick Okay, trying to suck off leftovers here. Q-tip alcohol cleaning up the mess we did here. I don't like how this cap looks here. And now would be the best time to check if something is indeed wrong except the MCU. And for that I powered my... Uh, FC to the LiPo input with my lab power supply and guess what I found out that still there is a high current draw on the FC the regulator is still buzzing meaning that uh, something is making it unstable and guess what this little IC here which most definitely is a regulator for 3.3 volt is getting pretty toasty and for that, I'm gonna try and take the regulator out. And see if the regulator is indeed the problem or we have something else. I have to be careful when I lift this regulator because I have two little caps there for... Uh, the coupling on the input or output, I don't know. 
This small PCB has a lot of copper in it. Pretty hard to melt it. Let's put it aside. Clean a bit the things here. Pretty difficult with this tip. I will need to find a different tip. Q tip, alcohol cleaning. Now let's power on the FC again. No more buzzing sound, and the current consumption is pretty stable. The output from the voltage regulator. If you can see it, is this one going through here and after that goes through this trace to this pin which is um, our 3.3 volt regulator. This is ground for sure, so let's uh, probe this here and this is the 3.3 volt and we have a dead short on 3.3 volts meaning that something is fishy here so either one of the caps uh, this one or this one yep this is uh, also 3.3 volts but this cap looks uh, to be in good shape but i'm afraid this one could be our um, our problem this damage here could have touched the inside layers of the cap and creating a short on the 3.3 volt regulator meaning that the MCU could actually be in good state so uh, maybe we will uh, just place the MCU back on the, the PCB let's take this cap out and see if that's the problem so we will try to take it out now now let's see if our short is still present on the 3.3 volt and guess what our short is not there anymore this is uh, this is ground that was the problem let me change my tip i will take one that's uh, more helpful in this situation let's clean these pads I placed some uh, fresh solder there and I will place my 3.3 volt regulator there let it uh, down to cool a bit and power on the FC again and as you can see we can uh, notice the LED the red LED on the right side that's connected on the 3.3 volt uh, line so uh, everything is working that cap was the the problem let's see if we can steal a cap from this one and I already see a cap here which will uh, do just fine Place some uh, solder to the pads. Plugs. Hit. And we place our cap here. Cleaning up a bit. Placing some uh, 
folder on the MCU pads because uh, I am certain that the MCU was in good shape so no need to replace it okay, and tiny speck on the middle there we will need flux take our MCU making sure that this side goes to that pin there I will show you right now as you can see we have there a square representing the pin number one hitting up for a distance making sure not to disturb the MCU that much So now is the moment of truth. Let's see if the MCU was indeed working. And as you can see, the MCU was uh, was good. So all the problems in this FC came from a little crash that nicked one of the caps. And I don't know if you know or not the ceramic capacitors have multiple layers inside and if they get cracked or nicked the layers can touch each other and create a short this is one of the reasons why um, four in one ESCs go up in flames because caps get cracked and the internal layers touch each other and they create a flame and uh, after that all the ESC gets up in flames I don't know I just uh, overlooked that cap the cap was uh, that giveaway but most of the time the MCU is the one that creates the short on 3.3 volt so this is why I took it out first but um, yeah I'm happy that I repaired this one you can repair your own electronics for sure just uh, need to have a basic understanding of how electronic schematics work thank you very much guys for watching don't forget to press that subscribe button and um, till the next time bye